Okay, we are in, we is live, and we will start. We will start with ourselves planted. So as you planted your feet, just gently close your eyes. And now you're going to be looking within. So what you want to be finding within is any, any tight spots. Just scan your body round. Just be aware. Start being present with those tight spots. And then you're just going to open them up. Open tightness. Scan top of the head, travel it all the way down, forehead, ears, eyes, nose, cheeks, mouth, chin, neck, shoulders, collarbone, chest, sternum, ribcage, abdomen. Switch it around, go lower back, go up the back, lats, go scapula, shoulder, then travel it down the arms, go triceps, go biceps, feel the elbows, feel the forearm, feel that frequency, that energy that's escaping from your fingertips, and then connect it to your hips, little hip hinge, so that your knees get a little flexed, and then what we're going to do is allow the body to go down, so that your chest is level to the floor. Fingers now are going to be pointing to the floor, traveling down your thighs, past your knee, down your shin, as low as you can. When you get to a point that you can't go down no more, without having to round your back, we're going to take a deep breath in. We take that breath in and we hold that breath. As we hold that breath, we cradle our arms. So both hands on both elbows. And then let go of the breath. As you let go of the breath, just lean a little bit further down. Lean a little bit further down. And then release your elbows. And bring your fingers down to the floor. If your fingers don't reach the floor, just flex your knees. And you'll be able to get to the floor with your fingers. From having your fingers now on the floor, we're going to walk your fingers out, walk your fingers out, until your hands are placed flat on the floor, and you're walking out, you're walking out, not too far, and get into an inverted V, that inverted V is the downward facing dog. Now that you're in the downward facing dog, just try and pull your heels down, if they're not down already, try to merge them, place them flat onto the floor, and then from there, collapse the knee, collapse the knee, go into the floating tabletop, and then from the floating tabletop, put your knees on the floor, and as your knees are on the floor, you're now on the tabletop. What we're going to do here is take a deep breath in through the nose and your lower back is going to curve, your head's going to come up and we go into a cat stretch. So we take a deep breath in through the nose. Now, as we do that, the lower back's curved, the head comes up, the shoulders retract back and you're in the cat stretch. You're going to let the air go if it hasn't gone already. And then you're going to take another deep breath while you're in this position. Take that deep breath in now. It's your total pace. It's up to you. You are in control. And once you've got that breath in, let it go. Let it go. And then just tuck your chin into your chest. And then bring your belly button into your spine. Lift your lower back up. Round your upper back, 
and you are now in the cow stretch. So we've gone from cat to cow. We're going to take a deep breath in through the nose, your own breath, your own pace. Hold the breath, still keep remain in that cow position. Shoulders directly over the wrist, knees directly over the hips, belly button tucked into the spine. Breathe with your control, be present with your breath, be present with all those tight openings. And then we go back to the tabletop, go back to the tabletop and then shuffle your knee back slightly so that your legs now are at an angle and then bring your hands a little bit further so you're outstretched a little bit more and then gently place your thigh on the floor keep your upper body up and then gently place your elbows on the floor gently place your elbows on the floor and now you're in the sphinx with that sphinx, we're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose, your pace, your control. Just take that deep breath in, be present with that breath. Once that breath is in, just hold it for a count of five seconds. It will be your five seconds, you're in control. Once the five seconds is gone, you're gonna take that breath out, get that breath completely out, let it go let it all go and then from there you're going to gently place your upper body down your hands are going to go directly underneath your shoulders you're going to leverage your body up so you go into like a mini cobra just hold that mini cobra for five four three two one then we go back to the tabletop Dig your toes into the ground so that it opens up the balls of your feet. Slide your hands, slide your hand up to the knee, slide your hands up the thigh. Come upright, dig your toes into the ground, lean back as low as you can, lean back, open up the hip flexors, open up the stomach, and then the up, the arms go up, arms go up, completely go up giving you a slight imbalance, really feeling that pressure on the feet, on the lower back, opening up stomach. Take a deep breath in, your control, your breath, control it going in through the nose, hold your breath, remain upright, leave your hands high, take the breath out, bring your hands low, Place your hands in front of your thigh, hip hinge over so that your hands go to the floor. Walk your hands at a safe distance to leverage you up. Dig your fingers, dig your toes into the ground. Elevate your knee from the ground. Go back to the downward facing dog. Walk your hands back, walk your hands back. Flex at the knees, unfold, take a deep breath in. Unfold, take a deep breath in, lean back for the supine, open up your body, welcome the world, welcome the morning. Bring your hands down, bring your hands down, and then hip hinge over again, hands slide down the thigh, past the knee, down the shin. You're going to be able to go a little bit lower now, go as low as you can, round the upper back, lose any inhibition. It's just you, you and your body. Go as low as you can, touch the floor. If you can't touch the floor, then just flex at the knees. And then from there, walk yourself further, walk yourself further on with your upper body. Go back to the downward facing dog. As we're in the downward facing dog now, what we're gonna do is lift one leg up in the air, so we go into the three-legged dog. As we're in that three-legged dog position, you're gonna fold at the knee, the elevated leg, fold at the knee, twist your body round, and we're gonna stack the hips. So we stack the hips one on top of the other. We hold that, opening up the hip flexor, obliques, feeling that open tightness. Three, two, one. 
the leg now returns, the knees go down, the knees touch the floor, you place your hands further out, you sit back on your hips, sit back towards your heels, and now we go into the prayer stretch. Opening up that upper lat area. And then what we're gonna do is come up from that. So we go into a mini tabletop, but we leverage right over and we go right down to the floor. Go right down to the floor. Have your hands either side of your body as if you're just gonna press up. And then what you're gonna do is elevate one leg up, fold the leg, and then as we fold the leg, we're gonna twist, turn, so we're gonna stack the hips now that we're in a lying position. We're stacking the hips. The other side is what you, of what you did previously. Just holding that for five, four, three, two, one. And then we return back. We return back. Elevate the other leg. Flex at the knee. Twist the spine over again. also known as a scorpion, just stacking those hips, holding those hips for five, four, three, two, one. We get back to the front, put both thighs on the floor, outstretch the hands, either side of you, outstretch your hands, turn to one side, so look at one side, and you can see your hand now pointing into the direction away from you. You're gonna elevate, the same side leg so that your knee is in line with your hips and your knee is aligned with your ankle so you've got a 45 degree angle you're going to pull your hand closer to you not too close just enough to give you this angled leverage push the ground away and you're going to now feel an immense opening on the opposite side chest shoulder really feeling that stretch, the open stretch. We're gonna hold that for five, four, three, two, one. The body goes down, the leg straightens up, the hand outstretches, you turn to the other side, you pull the hand towards you, you press it to the ground, you elevate the knee, so the hips are in line with the knee, the knee's in line with the ankle, push the ground away, so we get a nice opposite side, chest, shoulder, clavicle, stretch. Holding that for five, four, three, two, one. Gently put it down, gently put it down. Legs straighten up, hands go back directly underneath the shoulder. Leverage your body up so we go into the cobra. Remain in that cobra, hold that cobra. Five, four, three, two, one. We come up, we go back to the tabletop, we slide our hands in a more comfortable position directly underneath our shoulders, dig our toes into the ground, giving us that structure, giving us that scaffold, elevate your knees. We're now into the suspended tabletop, floating tabletop, and we're gonna elevate the lower body and go into the downward facing dog. As we're in the downward facing dog, we're gonna lift the opposite leg up to the one that we did previously, fold at the knee, and we're gonna twist the hips and stack the hips. Be totally aligned, totally aware, Feel that pulse, feel that opening. Five, four, three, two, one. Straighten up, feet go back, slide your hands, slide your hands back up to the toes, and we're gonna unfold. We're gonna unfold, go back into the supine, back into the supine. Bring the hands down, and what I'd like you to do is lace your fingers behind you, Lace your fingers behind you, and then elevate your arms up. Not too far, as far as they go, with a nice tension. 
fold at the hips, keep the arms elevated, keep the arms elevated, keep the hands laced, fold as low as you can, you might be surprised how low you can go, keep those arms elevated up, don't overstretch them, you do not want no injury, just be present with the stretch, be present with this tight opening. What I'd like you to do is unlace the fingers and then bring your arms around. Now I'd like you to cradle the arms now and feel that flow. Feel that blood dissolve. Feel that blood resolve. Feel that blood flow. Medicine for your body, flowing all around. We're gonna shift the weight. We're gonna transfer the weight. So any side of your body that you want to go to, you're going to slightly twist at the hips so that your leg is found directly in the middle of your crossed arm, if you want to just look at that. Once you are there, take a deep breath in through the nose, hold the breath, you're in control. You're the one who is present, you're the one who is in charge. Let the air go and just drop a little bit lower. Drop a little bit lower. And then transfer the weight to the other side. Transfer the weight to the other side. So once again, if you open your eyes, you can see your leg directly in the middle of your crossed arms. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Expand that rib cage, get that lung capacity filled. Holding that breath, being present with that hold, being as one with that. Go back to the breath, hold the breath. Let the air go. As you let the air go, drop down into your leg. Feel that open tightness. And then just transfer the weight back in the middle. Put your hands down. If your fingers touch the floor, that is awesome. What I'd like you to do is grab hold of your ankle. I'd like you to take a deep breath in through the nose. I'd like you to hold the breath. I want you to be present with the hold of the breath, with the hold of the open tightness. And then I'd like you to let the air go. As you let the air go, pull yourself into the body a little bit deeper, really flex that body. Hamstrings, calves, Achilles, glutes, lower back, upper back, all stretch, all open. Take you away. We are now taking you away. Fingers go back to the floor. We're going to flex at the knee and we're going to gently open up. As we stand up, gently open up. Take a deep breath in through the nose, halfway up. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Go into a supine. Hold the breath at the top. Expand your hands out. Point your fingers to the sky. Welcome that world. Welcome that morning. Let the air go if you haven't let it go already. Bring your hands down. Feel as one. Feel present. Feel as one. And what I'd like you to do now is just put one foot out. And as you put one foot out, let it slide as far as it goes. Both hands are going to go on one side of the foot. You're going to lean over. You're going to lean over. You're going to place your hands flat. You're going to suspend your knee. So we go into the lizard lunge. Get, get your head up. We're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to go into some box breathing. Four seconds, we go in. We go in now. Four. We hold the breath for four. We let the air go for four. We hold the breath for four. We gently place the knee on the floor. We come up, we bring our hands right up, go into the Samson lunge, and then lean forward so you get a nice deep hip flexor stretch. We 
We're gonna go through box breathing again, four seconds in. Expand that belly. Hold the breath for four. Let the air go for four. Hold the breath for four. And then place your hands once again beside that leg. Slide the leg back and swap it over with the other foot. So bring your other foot, place it right next to one of your hands. Outstretch the trailing leg. Dig your toes in the ground. Elevate the knees somewhat. Stretch the hip flexor. Open up the adductor. And we're gonna go in for another set of box. Four. We go in now. Three. Hold the breath for four. Let the air go for four. Hold the breath for four. Place the knee gently down. Elevate your upper body. Bring your arms up, right up. Lean in once again. Get a nice hip flexor stretch. Go in again for that box breathing. Four. Hold four. Let the air go for four. Hold for four. And just breathe as normal. Place the hands back. Place the hands back. And from there, bring the other foot up. Slide the foot. Bring it up. Bring both feet up. So you've got your fingers, hands inside of both your feet. We're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to unfold. We're going to go into the final supine. Really lean back. Open up. Let the air go. Let it all go. Bring the hands down, bring the hands down, and you're back to where you was, grounded, planted. Take a moment to celebrate. Celebrate the flow, the mystic, the wonderful you. Take a minute. Wherever you went, bring yourself back in. Be present. Take five seconds, four, three, two, Zoe, and Cantor. Thanking you, thanking you, thanking you.